the book is all about food, but it is also about Bombay in, in general. I think the shoom is um, a loving homage to the, to the Irani cafes of, of Bombay, first of all, because that's where it all began. I mean, when we, when we went to Bombay or when Shamil and Kavi, who are the founders of, of the shoom, went to Bombay and look at these cafes who were almost kind of a dying breed now. There were 400 of these cafes and hardly 25 left uh, these days. There, there is something needed to be done about, about this. And, um, Probably that was the first thing which strikes people about Dishoom is that this is um, an institution probably now in the last 10 years to, to rescue these, these cafes in a, some form or shape. We haven't replicated them, we haven't copied these cafes. It's very hard to do that because they have a history behind them. But it's just a little love letter we write every single time we open Dishoom to one of these cafes that look, uh, we're going to continue the tradition here um, and we're going to save this history maybe in small bits and pieces and whatever we can do to, to save that. You know, uh, I've been saying this uh, ever since we th started thinking about writing a book that as a young chef back home in India, I used to get really disappointed by the cookbooks. Every single time I used to pick up one and, and tried cooking from it or learning from it, it was a failure pretty much. Maybe it could be partly me not knowing enough skills, but also the cookbooks uh, are home, for home cooks. So they should be uh, clear enough for anyone to be able to cook from them. And I think this was the basic um, goal for me when I was trying to do this, to make sure when people buy this book, they should be able to recreate these recipes in, in the closest possible form you, you can achieve in a home, uh, a home kitchen. So uh, I would love to see people really using it um, and having lots of stains on the, on the pages of this book over the period of many, many, many years and, and probably leave them for their grandkids one day. <laughs> It's a really interesting dish, uh, probably one of my favorite from the breakfast menu. It's actually named after a man called um, Kejriwal, who used to visit Wellington Club. And he came from a very orthodox Jain family and was not allowed to eat eggs at home. So it was his um, uh, cheat eat when he used to go to Wellington Club and ask the chef to cook uh, an egg dish for him. And the chef came up with this idea of having a chili cheese toast and a fried egg on top with some green chilies thrown on, on it. And it became a thing and eventually it landed on the Wellington Club menu. And when we visited Wellington Club uh, many, many years ago, we loved it. Uh, one, the dish, and second, the idea of it and the history behind that. And we came back and recreated our own version of it. Uh, we had the chili cheese sauce, by the way, on the menu. So for us, it was very easy to rustle up a, a dish. Um, and it's actually a very simple dish. It's just fried egg, some cheese thrown on top of it, some spring onions, green chilies. Uh, and, and you enjoy that with ketchup, by the way. So we tried different sauces and some really cool um, chutneys with it, but it doesn't work. It actually works really well with the humble ketchup.